Well, several roads leading to Milimani courts where the Supreme Court judges delivered their verdict on the presidential election petition were closed to members of the public for the better part of the day. So a contingent of about 400 police officers drawn from the regular police, general service unit and rapid deployment unit were deployed in and around the Supreme Court as the country waited with bated breath for the final decision. Meanwhile, there was calm across the country before, during and after the delivery of the judgment. A deserted central business district two hours before the judgment of the Supreme Court. Traffic police officers at the junction of Kenyatta Avenue and Gong Road closing the road to motorists and members of the public and only allowing vehicles carrying officials involved in the Supreme Court process to use the road. A heavy contingent of police officers were also deployed at the junction of Ngong Road and Fast Ngong Avenue, which were also closed before and during the court session. Another road which was out of bound for motorists was Bishop Road, which is directly opposite the court. About 400 police officers drawn from the regular police, GSU and RDU were deployed in and outside the Supreme Court to ensure that the court session proceeds without interference. Security was also enhanced in the central business district. In Kisumu County, messages of peace dominated across the streets with residents welcoming the verdict of the Supreme Court. Tumekubali na matokeo, na sasa tunaomba mani, tuendele na kazi yetu, nguvu yetu yote, tulete kwa county, tufanye kazi kwa bidi kwa county yetu, tujenge county yetu. Let us give the president-elect Mr. Samoe Ruto an opportunity to show us. The bottom up. Similar sentiments were shared by residents of Migori and Siaya counties who remained calm despite the Supreme Court dismissing the presidential election petition filed by Azimio presidential candidate Raila Odinga. Tuchukue kwamba ni hivyo viongozi wetu Raila Molo Odinga, William Samoy Ruto wote ni viongozi na wote ni wa Kenya. Kwa hivyo tupoke tu tukubali ucha, tukubali maumuzi ya mahakama na tuendelee na maisha kama kawaida. Tushirikiane tuhudumishe amani, tukaribishe rais wetu tarehe kabla tarehe baada ya tarehe 13. Akisha shika Biblia akasema yeye ndio rais mteule, yeye ndio rais wa Kenya. Akuje bondo tutamkaribisha. Tunataka imani amani ndio idumu tuendelee amani tuendelee na kazi yetu In Kitui, Makueni, Narok, Kilifi and Nyamira counties residents gathered in local eateries to watch the Supreme Court proceedings and welcome the decision arrived at by the seven judges